Yeah, I had this first down. Um, okay, so if we look at this very first page, we're doing every question is answered off this picture. So how many points are there total? Six. There are six. I totally agree with that. Okay, and then it says to name them. So what are the six points? P, R, Q, S. Slow down. I got T. What else? Q, R, R S, S, N, N v. v. Why does P not count? There's no, there's no like dot. There's no dot. Okay, so what, what about M? Does M have dot? No. no, so it's not a point. Okay. How many lines are there total? Okay, so some of you guys would say two, some of you guys would say three. I think I have my paper with a hole. Yep. Okay, really what this picture is, it's a piece of paper, but it's a piece of paper that there's a line going through the one, which is this one, okay? This up and down one is the one that's going through it. The other one is just laying right on top of the piece of paper, okay? So it's kind of weird because it's, what is that called, 2D? Is that what, flat? I don't freaking know. Um, okay, so there are two lines, and we need to name them. So let's start with this up and down one. How can we name this line? TQ, what else could we call it? TN. TN. NQ. QT. Do you need a pencil? No. Okay. They're always right here. You don't ever have to ask. You just grab them. Okay. Um, so any of those combinations work. Okay. You do need this like little baby line above it in order for it to count for an answer. Okay. So geometry, it's really important that we put the thing above it. Okay, um, we need the other line too. So what can we call the other line? R-S-S-R. R-S-S-R, what else? Q-S, S-Q. Uh, there's plenty of, plenty of options, so we'll say R-S. And if you wrote something different than me, that's okay as long as it still qualifies. Okay, um, real quick, I know you guys don't do cursive, but um, see how this is like a little, I think it's an L. And cursive L. Okay, instead of we don't do it in this in my class just because it's confusing, but I would feel wrong if I didn't actually tell you. Okay, so um, if we're looking at this, this goes to this line RS. You could get rid of the RS and just call it line L. You wouldn't even need the thing above it. Okay, I don't like to do it because then it makes it really simple. A point has one letter, a line has two, and a plane has three. So it just helps your brain to remember to use the two letters with the, the line. Okay, is there another way to name the line QT? Yes. What is it? TQ. TQ is the most easy and obvious one. Without even looking at the picture, okay, we definitely know we could do TQ. However, what are some other options? Um, so take a second, find QT on the picture. How could we rename that line? NQ. NQ and QN, TN, any of those options, okay? However, when it gives us that QT, the easiest way is just to flip it, okay? Um, what other two name ways could you name the plane P? So I gave you three requirements to name a plane. What are they? They have to have a dot. They do have to have a dot, okay? They have to be inside this square, okay? So they have to have a dot and they have to be inside the square. So like M, is he inside the square? No, no so that one doesn't count. What about N? No. no. T does not count. Okay, who else does not count? The P, why not? It doesn't have a dot. What else? Uh, L. This L does not count, okay? So, and then that leads me to my third thing for a plane. How many points do we need for a plane? Three. Three. So any combination of these points, of uh, three of them, so you could say RQS, Okay, SQR, VQS, uh, RQV, any of those combination, you need three. So what would you like to do for the first one? RSV, and we need one more. RQS, those work. Okay, the plane, it doesn't have any like symbol or anything to go with it. We're almost done. The first slide takes the longest because I have to explain more. Okay, five, what are the names of three collinear points? So collinear means on the same line. So find a line, okay? And we need three points that lie on that line. 
Okay, so if we pick this line and we're gonna work with this one, okay, we need three points. Is there three points on that line? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, somebody said T Q S earlier. Why does T Q S not work? T is not on that same blue line. Okay, so you either can pick the up and down line or you can pick the sideways line. But you can't do one on this one and then two on the other one. Okay, they all have to be on the exact same line. Okay, so um, we can say, what do we say, RQS? Mm -hmm. RQS. Can I scroll? Are we good? Thank you. Okay, uh, we're looking at the bottom slide again on the front page for you guys. How many points are there? So this one should go pretty quick now that we know. How many are there? Five. Yep, name them. Q, E, V, S, U. Everybody agree? Okay, you guys will soon find out. I'll write down whatever you tell me whether it's right or wrong. Okay, so you guys gotta check. Um, how many lines are there total? There are two lines total. Name them. Start with the one going up and down. QP. We could call it QP. Okay, and again, we need that little symbol above. Yes, you do have to have it. Yes, it is important. Okay, what about the sideways line? How can we name that one? SP, ST, any of those work. Um, and if you wrote ST instead of SP, because I wrote SP, that's totally fine. I don't care as long as it's right. Okay. Uh, how many planes are there? There is one. Okay, so there's only one plane. The plane means the square, right? The red shape, there's only one of them, right? That's the plane, okay? There's just one plane. That's all they're asking you. Yes, dear? Would there be more than one? Well, yeah, if I had this line and it was like had another square up here, which is totally possible, right? I could connect two pieces of paper and draw a line, uh, pencil through both of them, okay? Uh, is there another way to name the line QP? PQ. PQ, for sure. Love it. What other two ways could you rename the plane R? So what is one requirement to name a plane? They have to be inside the square for sure. They've got to have a point. So what can we cross out? R, I agree. M, Q, and N. Okay, and then how many uh, points do you have to use to name a plane? Three. We have to use three, so any order of the three that are left, or the four that are left, totally works. Um, what somebody got? One. V is B. B, what? PT? You guys are all yelling at first step. Okay, what's another one, uh, Bevan? TPS. TPS, somebody agree with Bevan? Does that one count? Okay, uh, what are the names of three collinear points? So collinear means what? They are on the same line. So we need three points that are on the same line. What is something that qualifies? SPT. SPT, I love it. Okay, the back. Um, 